Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to bring you guys some of the films that I watched in January and kind of mini reviews and my thoughts on them. So I used to make more like movie reviews like a while ago and I will still do separate film reviews for I don't know bigger movies for me like in chapter 2 or Doctor Sleep but I thought I would just talk to you guys about some of the movies that I've watched recently and what I thought of them. So let's jump right into it. In January I watched six movies. The first one was called Solace. It's a 2015 film that stars Anthony Hopkins and he absolutely kills it in this movie. So it's basically about a psychic like a psychic doctor who works with the FBI and the killer is always like kind of one step ahead of him but he works with the FBI to help catch him and then that's kind of where the story goes. It's really really good. It talks a lot about good versus evil. Solace was probably like one of my favorite movies on this list. I ended up giving it like a 3.5 out of 5 or like closer to like a 4 because it was it was really really good and I enjoyed it and again Anthony Hopkins did an amazing performance so if it sounds interesting to you I would highly recommend watching it and I think it's on Netflix right now as well. Next up I have a 2020 film and this is Palm Springs. This stars Andy Samberg and it was like a really fun comedic rom-com type of movie. It's very laid back and fun so for what it was I did give it a 3.5. It's not like on the same level as Soulless but if we're rating each one individually then that's where I landed Palm Springs at. But again Andy Samberg did a good job and the main female actress in it did as well. The only thing is if you're gonna watch this with people just be aware that there's like a sex scene in the first scene of the movie and then there's like I think one or two throughout so it just depends on who you're watching it with but just keep that in mind. Next up here I have Death to 2020. So this was like a little doc like docu documentary film on Netflix and it talked about all like summarizing some of the events from 2020 and how much of a mess it was that kind of thing. There's a lot of famous actors in this. Samuel L. Jackson's in it. The, the guy from Stranger Things is in it. The one who plays Steve he's in it as well. He, was not a fan of this movie. Like I, wa I watched it with some of my friends and I just really really did not like it. The satire and the humor in it I just didn't like and I just didn't like the way it was laid out. Like we went back and forth between different people and them talking about different issues and it was supposed to be funny but like I really didn't find it funny at all. If any of you guys have seen this movie let me know what your thoughts are on it down below. If it, you think it summarized the year well like it was kind of like a good summary of all the bad things sure but it wasn't like anything amazing and I didn't think it was funny or humorous and I didn't end up enjoying it. I gave that one two out of five stars. Next up here we have one that is probably my favorite on this list and it is Corpse Bride so this is directed by Tim Burton. I love A Nightmare Before Christmas whoa I love A Nightmare Before Christmas but I've never seen Corpse Bride before and I finally watched it. It's, it was a lot shorter than I expected as well. It was only like an hour and 20 minutes or like something like that. It was pretty short and it was really really good. It's about a man named Victor who meets this corpse bride in kind of like the underworld-ish and I don't really know how to explain that part but like he meets this corpse bride and she's like in love with him and he's like okay who are you and in the real world for him he's engaged to Victoria and it kind of just starts this bit of drama. You kind of see how his worlds collide of like his story with Corpse Bride and then his story with Victoria and then how they kind of come together eventually and how that conflict is dealt with. It's also like it has such amazing quotes and it's like I love you but you're not mine was a quote that I had seen a lot as well even before I watched the movie that's one I heard that's one that I've heard from this movie. Also like the one the little catchphrase of the movie that's like there's been a grave misunderstanding. I think that's so good. So this was like one of my favorite movies out of this list. I gave it a four out of five. Yeah and I did like a cute little journal spread in my journal for this movie as well. Next we have a like horror thriller movie. This was called Year Next. It's a 2011 film. It's basically it's about a family on like an anniversary trip and then there's a group of killers with masks on just like a lot of horror movies recently uh, which I do like this trope of just the masks you know. So basically all these killers wreak havoc on this family and one of the brothers in this family I think he's the brother his girlfriend is the only one that like it's super badass and fights back and like she's killing it like she was 
probably my favorite character just because she stuck up for herself and she was really badass and everything. This wasn't like the best slash, it wasn't even slasher, it wasn't the best thriller or horror movie I've ever seen, but it was really entertaining and if you see it around on like any streaming platform I would recommend watching it quickly just because it was it was pretty good. It was not not the best one out there but it was pretty solid. I ended up giving this a three to five stars. Lastly here we have a movie that probably a lot of you have seen and it is called Megamind that came out in 2010. So I watched this with a group of my friends as well. It wasn't really a movie that I wanted to watch necessarily but because I have seen it before but yeah so this is about Megamind who defeats his nemesis and then we kind of follow his story from there and like finding a purpose and then meeting somebody etc. There's a lot of famous actors in this as well which was nice to see. I When I looked through all the voice actors and stuff there's so many people that I recognized and there's just so many famous actors in this film. I thought this was good but it wasn't as like amazing as some people make it out to be. I would say like this is not the first movie I would show to my kids in terms of an animated movie it's not like at the top of my list but it was still like entertaining and I see why people like it so I ended up giving it a three to five. So there you guys have it those are some of the movies that I've watched in the past month. I have only seen one movie so far in February so I will probably not make a video for February but maybe combine it with March depending on how many movies I watch but I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know your thoughts on these movies and maybe like a favorite movie that you watched. It doesn't even have to be this month it could be in general so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and comment down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bells because YouTube sometimes doesn't like to send out notifications or put my videos in people's subscription boxes. So feel free to do that if you want to. And yeah, I'll see you guys all super soon with a new video. Bye!